Hello, welcome to this robot structure analysis tutorial. Today, I will show you how to get started with robot structure analysis 2020. Now, let's open the robot structure analysis 2020. A new window will appear. The window is used to select the type of structure that will be analyzed or to load an existing structure. Let's click on new icon. A new dialog box will come out. This is a robot modules window. That consists. Building design, frame 3D design, shell design, truss 3D design, plate design, frame 2D design, grillage design. Truss 2D design, volumetric structure design, plan stress structure design, plane deformation structure design. Asymmetric structure design, RC elements design, connection design, section definition, parameterized structure design. Let's open a existing project. Next window is Robot Screen Layout. The options are mainly associated with non-structural items, such as print, save, undo, etc. This layout area is specified for Edit, View, Tools, Preferences. This one is Layout System. It's designed to take the new user through a model from start to finish, while opening predefined windows for selected tasks. This one is Structure Model Toolbar where you can access all information related to sections, nodes, members, supports, loads etc. This one is Graphic Viewer and Editor. While working in the graphical viewer, you may active the context menu by pressing the right hand mouse button. The menu allows you to perform many useful operations. You can rotate. And you can access pan tool. Zoom window. You can also access display of structure parameter. This one is a navigation tool view cube, which is 3D interactive tool that lets you reorient a view and set the current orientation of a structure model. Clicking a predefined face, edge or corner on the view cube, you can reorient the view of a model. This one is the Object Inspector, which is located along the left-hand side of the interface. The Object Inspector consists of several topic-specific elements. Tabs to select these topics are along the bottom of the dialog. Object Inspector. Steel Connection Inspector. RC Component Inspector. This one is View Manager. With this tool, you can switch between 2D and 3D.
You can also select a work plane. This one is basic configuration of the program, there are two option, preferences and job preferences, allowing the user to set program parameters in the robot system. The preference dialog box is used to define basic parameters in the program. Regional setting adjusts the database profiles, materials, units and codes to the standards of a country. Robot is a multilingual program the user can independently set the different languages for input and printout, if desired. The Job Preference dialog box allows you to define general program parameters to be used in a given project. You can choose Euro code for regional setting in preference dialog box. And then check the result in the job preference. You also want to choose United Stated to switch the project to feet, inch. And check the result again in job preferences. This one is grid step definition. This one is snap settings. This one is grid definition dialog box. You can also access this tool on the upper right corner. Snap setting is also accessible by the icon in the bottom left. There are two methods to work with robot by using system menu to entering data or special layout system. The system menu consists of two part, a text menu and toolbars with appropriate icons. Option available in the text menu are grouped as follows. The file menu contains options for file management, new, open, save, etc. Calculation notes and drawing printouts, screen capture, a list of information about project and list of recently opened files. Edit menu contains options for elements addition, undo, redo, cut, copy, etc. Selection, select, select all, selection using filter, select special, model modification, edit, complex edit, divide, intersect, etc. The view menu contains options for 2D, 3D view management of a structure's model, dynamic view, zoom, pan etc., work in 3D, structure attributes to be presented on the screen, display, definition of RID parameters, grid, selection of tables with data or results, tables, and saving defined views of a structure, history. 
Geometry menu contains options for Select or modify a type of a structure Define a model construction axis Axis definition Define structural data nodes Bar Panels and auxiliary objects Define materials Define bar profiles and their orientation and direction of local coordinate system Define supports and many other structure items The load menu contains options to define load cases and combinations This one is analysis menu. This one is result menu. This one is Tools menu. And this one is Design menu. The next one is Window menu. And the finally one is Help menu. The second method of work with Robot is by using the special layout system. Robot has been equipped with a layout mechanism that simplifies the design process. The layouts in Robot are specially designed systems of dialog boxes, viewers and tables that are used to perform specific defined operations. The layout order and arrangement follows a chronological process, stating from defining nodes, beams, then supports, sections etc. This one is definition of structure model, which contains layouts relating to the geometry and basic definition of a structural model, such as supports, sections etc. This one is Results, which contains layouts showing beam results, maps on surfaces etc. This one is Design, which contains layouts relegating to steel and concrete design, slab design etc. Now let's choose Nodes, a typical layout for nodes is shown. Note that each window cannot be closed until a new layout is selected. This one is a dialog boxes to show entered data. It is also possible to enter data manually in this screen or to paste from programs such as MS Excel. This one is structure model toolbar, which contains data relating to structural entities, but limited to the type of data that is appropriate to node definition. A typical layout for bar. A typical layout for section and material. This one is for supports. And this one is a typical layout for loads. Thank you so much for watching.